What's up? How are you guys today? I'm going to show you my H. pylori protocol. If you guys missed the video two days ago on Wednesday, definitely check it out. The hypothesis is vitamin C deficiency can cause H. pylori, therefore giving you gut issues, stomach issues, things similar to candida, SIBO. Sometimes people even think they have parasites. So if you guys saw my morning routine a few months ago, this might look a little similar, but the dosing is different and we're adding a few things. So let me show you guys what we do in the morning and then later with meals. To put it simply, we're just putting vitamin C in water, adding a little bit of sweetener to kind of neutralize the sour taste so we can drink it and then just having some masticum. So this is going to be a great boost in the morning, give you all the vitamin C, all of your cells need, your liver, organs, all that stuff. So we have two lemons, organic of course, some vitamin C, ascorbic acid, we have some sodium ascorbit, flextrose, 100% organic glucose from frankiesfreerangefoods.com. And then we just have some masticum. This is available on organsupplements.com. So as you guys see, there's a reason I started my businesses. It's stuff I actually use myself and sometimes certain product quality was missing. So I'm just gonna cut these lemons and squeeze them into our glass. So to our two lemons, we're gonna add about six ounces of water. Ascorbic acid, half a teaspoon. The sodium ascorbate, we're gonna do one full teaspoon. And if you wanna go higher dosed, you probably wanna stick with just the ascorbate because the acid is very acidic and it can give you diarrhea, digestive issues. It's not gonna be completely absorbed. Then for the flextrose, I'm gonna do a little under one scoop. And if you guys don't have this, I mean, you could use a little honey, but this is very low stress on the liver and it's gonna promote the absorption of the vitamin C. So. Uh, the regular corn dextrose online is just you know, not great quality. So we have a very high dose of vitamin C, both synthetic and natural here, and the masticum. I'm going to do about a teaspoon. So if you guys are unfamiliar with masticum, uh, we explained it on our first H. pylori video. This is an antimicrobial that is not stressful on the liver at all because it just sits in the digestive tract. It doesn't get absorbed. And it's from an island in Greece called Chios where they harvest it from uh, this tree sap. Very, very special, unique product. I would say, yeah, that's about a teaspoon, maybe a little less. So I'm just gonna swallow the masticum down with the vitamin C. It tastes just like lemonade, except since there's, you know, so much vitamin C in it, it does have like a little bit of that punch. So guys, even if you don't have H. pylori, definitely try doing this. And if you feel really, really good, invigorated in the morning yeah you, know, you could have slight vitamin c deficiency so let's show you guys what we do for lunch dinner whatever other meals you're having so with that empty stomach in the morning you're able to put some vitamin c masticum in there essentially kind of heal the gut lining flush the h pylori out but when you eat food you know protein fat carbs whatever that the h pylori is feeding on you want to ensure that it doesn't come back uh, so we need the masticum again you, you would do one or two teaspoons with the meal depending on the size and the severity of your digestive issues we have some water kefir grains and water kefir this is available on frankiesfreerangefoods.com as well this is the most powerful natural probiotic that isn't going to excessively stress the body yogurt dairy kefir are okay but very high calcium content not great for gut motility just not a good choice so get your hands on some water kefir some water kefir grains this will not only help you digest the food so that the H. pylori can't eat it, the bacteria will also keep the H. pylori at bay. So this is a, a key factor for weeks and weeks to months of just letting your gut heal over time. And if you really have an issues, you might wanna take some activated charcoal after the last meal of the day. But that's really it. Uh, if you guys tried this out, definitely let me know how you feel. If you think you had a vitamin C deficiency, I think the biggest thing here is uh, the dose can be pretty high. So we did like a teaspoon and a half of vitamin C total. You could go two or three teaspoons. And once you do that over a consistent period of time, three, four weeks like they did in those studies, then you should really be feeling a lot better. Uh, so you guys can go to frank-stefano.com to check out all of my businesses where you can find some of these products and many more. Outside of that, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.